I guess when I try to describe what Sauvignon Blanc is, it's about that amazing aromatic lift. It should fill the room full of aroma. Wonderful citrus and stone fruit characteristics and that lovely sort of mouth-watering acidity that really continues on. Tococo I sometimes describe as like a fan. With Sauvignon Blanc we have some, some quite narrow flavours but Tococo is really like opening a fan up. You get lots of those citrus flavours but they can be lemongrass, it can be ginger, it can be moving into some tropical notes like rambutans and guavas. There's a wonderful density and richness and just a wonderful long finish. A far more sort of weighty wine than our classic Sauvignon Blanc, um, but delivers far more complexity as well. The flavour profiles that oysters exhibit are very much contributed to by their environment. These differences in texture and flavour, they are subtle. If it's a high mineral content in that water, well, you'll get that zing. If the harvest area is near the ocean, you'll get the salty, briny taste. We're enhancing that profile to them all the time now. My personal preference is the Sydney Rock Oyster. That hit of salt, solid, creamy condition. It's indigenous to Australia. It's only grown on the east coast of New South Wales. That, in my mind, is the best oyster in the world.